Look at the balance. Look. Look. Ace playing basket. Oh, never mind. I have to ban Wukong, right? Or Kalista. Wukong. Go in. Yeah. Just pick Wukong. I want to see Gomayushi Kalista. Kalista leads him. Mm, yeah, I like that. Mm. That opens up mid on three and support on four. Kalista leads in. <clears throat> I think then pick Lissandra on 3 and band 2. It's OP as hell. Lee is a no-brainer here. Unless you're picking GP away. Because GP into Kalista is really good if they pick GP here. Huh? Why do they pick Nar? Can you just go Camille maybe? Or Vlad? Or something? Or Kennen? Or GP? You have so many top laners. I think top lane can go 4 or 5 then. Azir is good. That's really good range. I really think they need to pick up Estriel. Yeah, I think they need to pick Lee as well. Unless they can go... What do they have? Lee Sin, Volibear? They could go Corky here to try to buff the range. What do they have? They have Lee Sin, Volibear. Um, maybe he has a Diana angle as well. Uh, into Estriel, Azir, Diana. I think he needs Lee Sin. What the fuck? Nar Cassidin solo lanes? I will admit, I think this is not the greatest Cassidin game yet. They're trying stuff. Yeah, maybe they're trying stuff. Yeah, there's the Diana. They didn't. They, I, I, they didn't want Lee Sin or Volibear. I think KT need more CC. No, don't do Sejuani. Oh my god! Why does he pick Sedge? But why is it they have AP champ against Cassidy? They pick more AP champs. Why? Why can't you just pick Camille? And like uh, Galio support or something? Or. Ezreal Tam? Oh my god. You're not going support, Camille. You're not doing it. I'm not into Tam Kench. You're not going Camille support. Holy Camille support into Tam Kench. First strike, first strike, spell book, triple TP, double TP, Camille ignite, aftershock. The awkward thing about Camille aftershock is obviously if you miss your E, then um, it's a happy little accident. Double Kassadin? Yeah, I think it's the best rune on Kassadin, isn't it? Sometimes I see electrocute Cassidy minus one, um, but I feel like spellbook is pretty nice. Yeah, support Camille used to be meta back in the days. It used to be meta. The sword is grump. Ooh, that trade. Did Faker have second wind? Did Faker have second wind? I hope the fucking god he has second wind. Otherwise, this is going to be painful. Yes, okay. I think Fleet Resolve might have been a little bit better. They saw Wukong, of course. Holy, their trading is really good. It's good, it's good. Oh my god, Arya into it. He made a big mistake. Faker kind of countered into counter into the tin. Faker into the back. What what happened there was Arya was here and he had a soldier here and what he tried to do was you can do a combo on Azir EQ. So you like press E and put your mouse backwards. But as he was dashing to his initial soldier, owner became in the middle of them. So he got cancelled here. Your theory on on T one drafts might be true. I think it is true. I think my theory on T1 drafts is true, and we'll see it in the next few, few days, but I'm pretty sure it's accurate. My theory is, after MSI, um, T1 had a meeting, and uh, in that meeting, I think one of them, or the team as a whole, came to a conclusion that they go to international events without having practiced enough in the regular season. So they did a really good uh, regular season, they went 20-0, but they were playing very similar things all the time. It wasn't like they were going crazy, like Camille supports, or Yasuo AD carries, or whack top lane picks, you know, they were sticking to what works, what's meta. And by the time they get to international events, and they play against teams playing like Scion Bot, and they were playing against random Callistas out of nowhere. T1 has always struggled against teams that throw random picks at them. Like, for example, G2 back in the days, you know, or any team that throws them a curveball, they, Korean teams in general get a bit lost. 
And I feel like they said to themselves, okay, we want to win worlds. How do we win worlds? Well, we win worlds by making sure we're in the best form possible at worlds uh, throughout the regular season. Is the regular season useful? No. Do we care about winning every game? No. So what do we do every game? We try things out. And I think they're probably going to practice random things in scrims. And then when it gets to worlds, they have so much things in their arsenal that comfort is basically everything. Uh, and they'll feel like a lot more comfortable. They won't get caught off guard as much. They kind of put themselves in a bit of a chaos playstyle throughout the regular season to train them up a bit better for Worlds. And I think it's a really smart thing to do because I think individually they'll beat everyone almost and make top two minimum in the regular season. And imagine the power you have in a best of five already. After two days of LCK, you can play Senna Yasuo bot that they have to be careful of when you go to 4-5 in draft. And you have to be careful of for Camille support when they have Kalista already. And you have to be careful of uh, Cassidy on three. Like these, there's three things already that are like they've never done before in a way. They've just added three things to their drafts in two days. So Tion will win worlds. I don't know if they're gonna win worlds, but I think the way they're doing their regular season, it'll help them a lot. I mean, what's the point in going 20-0 again in the regular season? It doesn't win you anything. It just shows that you can play one or two styles very, very consistently if you're not playing many different styles. It doesn't hurt to lose. Like, losing one series is better than winning five series when you're a good team because you can reflect a lot. Winning playoffs, of course, is important. Winning LCK, important. But regular season, like, it's, it's basically practice at this point for T1. Like, T1 is so good that regular season doesn't really matter. Like, they're going to be top two anyway. I think this will continue throughout the rest of the split for T1. Like, for example, Rookie... Was, no, it wasn't Rookie. Knight played Brand mid in the LPL. It wouldn't surprise me if Faker now says, hmm, Brand mid into Swain is pretty good. Well, this is a bit too deep, but it's uh, that's okay. Maybe Faker says Brand mid next, next game or next series. Do you remember back in the days in LCK when Faker was in like, I don't want to say his, his prime, but he would pick Master Yi mid. If you weren't, if you don't remember, Owner's dead. Going to the Azir. It, it might sound weird, but no if, if Faker that. picks Master Yi mid, it wouldn't I'm be the first time. He's played Yi mid. He played. He had splits <laughs> where he was playing Riven into Cassio. He had splits where he was playing Olaf into some Let's champs as well. Like this guy was picking so much random shit, but it, he stopped recently. The last few years he just stopped, yeah. and he's been playing more like meta stuff. Azir, Galio, Corky. But um, I feel like Faker was Faker when, you know, he just picks whatever the fuck he wants, you know? And I feel like, yeah, again, that comes back to the conversation they probably had at the end of this, at the end of MSI. Okay, T1 inting a bit. I, I don't know, KT's comp is actually like, it's really standard, but it's pretty good, you know? What do you mean? I'm actually being... Abyssal Dive is a fantastic engage tool. It's alright. I wouldn't call fantastic. Oh, there's the ulti out. Oh, he missed. Oh, he missed. Oh, my but no, God. Just a hyper proc with uh, Sheen. One shot. I mean, the thing is, like, jungle mid is inting a bit this game for T1, but Zeus is... Zeus is always Zeus, you know? This guy is so fucking good. Okay, this fight will be pretty big. For a bit of an engage here, gets face called back. The cyclones in from Cuz, but still trying to get more. Owner is gonna get knocked up before too much, but that is a fantastic Empress device. Oh my Denied god, Zeus. To answer Zeus. Zeus. Right in the thick of is he carrying the whole fight? Oh my god, no one is dying. No one is dying. Oh my god, they just got 5 for 0. No way. It's a clean ace! Dude, Kalista was doing no damage. Kalista was doing no KT damage, die? man. She was what? hitting the whole time. This Kalista was free hitting. This game makes no sense, the whole time. Zeus was smurfing. Oh my goodness. Watch okay. Guma. Watch Guma the whole fight. Just watch Guma the whole fight. Hit. 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 Now he starts hitting the clone. He starts hitting the clone a bit too much. But then again, hit. Look. Hit. Hit. This is where it looks good. Hit. Hit, and, and Guma hit, is up hit, spears and you're hit, feeling great, hit, flash, hit, crucially, hit, he he's doing nothing, rascal, he's doing so nothing, man, no is he able to he's actually doing nothing, resets, imagine, like, and then, while that's happening, what the fuck, the okay, the, the Camille looks KT, cool, but, um, 
over on the other when side. I when I press tab as anyone in the game right now and I see a Lucidity Cal Boots Kindle Gem Camille who's level out, eight, right? they certainly, like, they I'm like, right? there is, there I'm kind of wondering stack up a rift walk what it what is it going to do? She can jump on CD in people's faces. Yeah, dude, I think this Camille jumps on anyone and she's instantly one-shot. That's what I'm scared about. So this Azir build, I saw Rookie did it on Azir. No, on, on Victor. Chovy did it on Azir. It looks like it's the flavor build. Leandri's into Demonic Embrace. This gives you so much health with this durability update. As you pointed out, if he stacks up, I don't know if T1 can win this game. Get that combo combo, but it's a very narrow win condition because even I don't know if they can win this game. The Kalista is range and never really going to be that useful. Camille is not useful. Diana is really far behind. Really that a lot the only the person who's ahead right now is Zeus. At, right? like Faker is very mobile and, and, and Faker is pretty even in situations when you put him inside. if he gets this top wave team, in XP. Upon, they just kind of go down. He needs two more levels. Um, you told them to pick really Kalista. Like yeah, I didn't tell them to pick Camille support yeah. him to Tom and yeah. Dude, this champ can't do shit. What is Camille supposed to do into Tom and Jesriel? Yo, Zaj, thanks for this. 19. I, think, um, I also think they should have some well. kind of lease in Lissandra into Wukong. Nar is fine. Like Diana is ahead. I mean, she's actually even now that I stick by it here. She's kind of even. Rage played up. Oh no. Not again. Not again. No. No. Not again. Not again. Esriel ult it or something. No. Not again. Not again. No. This is. not. They can't keep getting away with this. Alright, I guess you can just get away with it. The right. There's a teleport coming forward, carrier. Oh my god, that damage from aiming is just massive. And now Save yourself, go on without me. She knows that he's dead, but one for a baron? I can't believe they got Nash. I can't, man. The against Damon in spring, they fucking sneak Nash. They snuck Nash yesterday or the day before, they snuck it today. Dude. Just thinking about what they want to cover for uh, It's actually game. maybe lost now, you know that, right? Oh this Cassidy just got a level, like, hey, uh, like an XP worth of a level. Now they're going to get a pick. No, oh my god. Oh my god. And now they're just going to win the game. And now they're just going to win the game or what? Oh, Azir will kill them all, actually. Immediately falls down as now Zayas a phenomenal wall oh. up there just to get a double stun. But KT still keeping themselves alive. The ulti comes through and Zayas will be taken down. Carrier out of Oh, nice now. play there by Arya. Can't get him though. But he does oh, have the rip walk. He should KT will have to deal with. I mean, right now, Faker is feeling pretty good about the situation. Emperor's Divide immediately rip walked as Cuz is going to come down. He will get here in time. Good Cyclone. Lots of damage yeah, This, this Cassin doesn't have any Faker damage. Is, he's going to have to go golden as well. Zayas decides he's oh, just he are flash and died. But Faker has already gone down as well. Zayas now finds himself on the wrong side of the room. Oh, Zeus. Come in and he is ah, he's he's so fucking good. No and now he's pushing top. He's pushing he top. TP's top and he's going to get top tier too. Right, here's a hook shot. Bit of a stun onto life here as Gumiushi dives on over as well. The gray health. I don't Big think will be enough. But then comes aiming. What? And the Oh my god. Oh my god. They should have fake Nash. They need to get in there. Oh my god. Honor, honor Zeus. Honor Zeus. Trying to fight back, aiming is still alive, and they are just mopping the floor with them. Rascal, get out, 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 out. One kill on Aria, but otherwise, KT destroy them. Oh, Faker's dead. Thinking about a cheeky back, he wants to keep this last Baron alive, but it's not gonna happen. Is it over? That is. Yeah, I think it's over. T1 lost. Wow, T1 just got stomped. No damage. No winning lanes apart from top. No, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. fuck me. I can't believe he picked Camille support. And he went Evan Shroud into Zonias, into Tam. But respect, may as well try it. But you know, you know what's gonna happen. You know what's gonna happen. They're gonna come into game two. They're gonna pick. They're gonna pick uh, Viego or Wukong, 
they're gonna pick Azir. They're gonna pick Jinx. They're gonna pick. Uh, they're gonna pick a uh, fucking. Let's go, man. Uh, I don't know, some Leona Thank or something. The content. They're gonna go full like. To do this we need to win. Though, You're better than 50 months. Now they go back so to their basic shit. Sejuani ban. Hmm. Why would they ban Sejuani? Didn't seem like a problem at all. Let's pick Wukong. What the fuck are they first picking GP for? Just pick Wukong. Oh my god. I mean, sure, the champ is OP, but I don't think that KT was gonna want to GP. That's the thing here. Like, you can pick anything here, and they won't want to GP, right? Surely not. Shocker. I mean, they can just go Viego now. Just go Viego as here. Overall priority Thoughts? within the mana, a lot I think higher. Estrel is good for them. Oh yeah, their uh, band spell S K T. Holy shit. What Faker is Holy. To take into that mid lane. I think Azir was better actually. I don't know why both teams are overlooking it. Dive, in their but you know they're tryharding when Corky's locked in. I told you they would pick Corky in game two. They need to win. Um, I think Rakan ban is not bad. Okay, Jin ban is fine too. Corky Jin is pretty good with GP. Is Zyra Khan good here if you're playing against Kalista Alistar? Yeah, they're going. I told you! No, I told you they were gonna go Corky Jinx Tom. Oh my god, I knew it! Oh my god! How do you win a game two? Corky Jinx Tom, where's T1? Holy, Jarvan support. It's terrible. It's actually dog shit. Why can no one pick a good champion to Tom Kench? Why can okay. no one pick a Jarvan is no, useless. A it's the same thing course, as the Camille. It's against Tom Kench. Uh, it does nothing. Is... Corky has a dash. Oh, Viego has a dash. FMI You're never going to see Gangplank. And this, is and this guy has a Tom Kench next to him. Like, guys, can we just pick a good support on five for once, please? It is like, even, so even Kalista Brown was, like, better than that. Huh? Aiming, uh, I don't think Caitlyn was banned before 1210. Am I wrong? Maybe on earlier patches. It was just Jinx Aphelios trade-off. I don't know if Caitlyn was ever like super high prio. Also, Caitlyn requires you to... I remember I remember Caitlyn is also very dependent on team. Like, um, yeah, it was banning against T1. Yeah, of course, because if, you pl if you're playing good range supports, if your support can play good range supports, then uh, Caitlyn is broken. But if your support can't play range supports... Like, the Caitlyn name is like 70% on the Lux or on the Karma. Like, the lane is all from support. So to be a Caitlyn team, you need to have a good range support player. And the uh, Korean teams have really good range support players. But a good question. I don't know the full answer to it. I think, did Caitlyn... off to a great start yet again. Most notably, uh, Zayus knowing he's dead. Oh shit, way too dead. No I don't know, good question. Maybe the durability changes made it so Caitlyn is uh, a bit weaker in lane because it's... They have damage. Well, they don't have Ignite. I remember Caitlyn being banned a bit in the LEC. I didn't watch much of him MSI, but... Yeah, I'm not surprised if it was banned against T1. Hmm, well, I mean, top should still be fine because Rascal's TP back as well, so situation is okay. Mid situation is good because they're even on TPs. Early Drake start. This is the power of Kalista. If anyone's like... So the reason a lot of people are like, why do you pick Kalista? It does no damage. Well, the reason you pick Kalista in most pro games is Kalista gets good bot push early. Like, first two Drakes, you're pretty much yours if you play a good Kalista lane. Unless they play Draven and can match, right? And actually, then it's a fist fight. Most uh, Kalista so lanes win 2v2 and get the push, especially on red side when you can counter pick support. In this case, it's not really a huge counter. But their bot lane scales really well, mid lane scales really well, this scales really well. So they need to stack drakes to match scaling. Hopefully they don't get a fucking Cloud Soul. Hextech is already gone, Infernal's gone, Inf Ocean is pretty shit. Even though they have poke, Ocean just isn't that great. Maybe I mean, Mountain also shit. Here comes Jarvan. The beauty of Jarvan. Presses one button, gets an assist. <laughs> Jarvan's so good for padding your fucking assist stats. Oh, level up. 
Ah, uh, smart play lockdown. by life. Usually, really smart play. The Rens are stacking up, and there is no way that he's going to make it out of this one. Carrier looks to abyssally dive his way out. Oh my God, KT. Baker's getting a bit cocky here. I would turn this. I think Arya could dash forwards there with ult. So what life does here is he flashes on top of Jinx because he knows now he can't flash. Look, he has Nimbus cloak and flash slows him. So Guma, if he flashes, he's just going to get EQ'd. There's no counter. So game state right now is pretty KT favored. They're gonna get Herald by the looks of it. T1's not gonna fight it because carry around bot and they have bot push going to mid. So if they do try to fight this, Jarvan's just gonna kill them. So they should know the tr supports around mid because they're not showing bot. And they're gonna get free Herald. So KT with their bot push, get Drake. KT with their bot push, get Herald. And that's the power of Kalista. Very good guess there by, by aiming to cancel his base. So now they'll get bot push on the next wave after they flush out that they're not hiding in bush they have to be careful for gp ult as well and there's no flash on kalista so obviously they have to be very careful for jungle next drake's in eight seconds and they're already coming out of base so i think this drake either has to die now or it's t1s <coughs> because once the jinx gets this wave and pushes out they're gonna get drake so they have one window for drake which is good kt are playing really well now you can take your bases the problem is this kalista base sucks he should cancel his base right now Oh my god, that Kalista base is terrible. They're gonna get so much here. The Kalista should have stayed, I think. Can't believe you lost two games in LCS. What do you mean I lost two games in LCS? The fuck? I never played in LCS. Oh, Jensen. Oh, fuck off, man. Fuck off. Oh my god, Zeus is getting murdered. He's so tilted, look at him. KT are playing great. They're going to get full top tower as well. I, I don't like the Herald usage here. I personally like the Herald usage in mid on the, in the next minute. But, I mean, it's full gold dinar. Helps your side in a bit. Oh, yeah. 820 gold. I don't know. The game's not over. It's only smaller the game lead for KT. And their comp doesn't scale that well, right? Nar... Uh, Nar, Nar, Ari, Kalista, Jarvan, you're playing these champs and you don't get ahead early, it's time to open against Jinx, Corky, GP. So, um, I feel like if they get to mid-game and they have a 3k gold lead, they'll be a little bit ahead, but anything less and it's probably even at two items. Hey, what the fuck, man? Why is he not giving blue to Ari? Like, what? It's 14 minutes into the game. Why doesn't he just give it to Ari, man? It helps so much in Ari getting mid-push. But their KT is playing really, really well right now. They need to play a bit better though. Like they need to get this next Drake, defend their top tier one on the trade. Because the thing is, if they go Drake here, you can see T1 is going to go for their top tier one and dive the Nar. They need to make sure that they get Drake and protect this play because they have the resources to do it. They have double TP advantage over one. What they can do here is Ari can lean top with TP. Uh, Jarvan can be sitting behind top. They can be two manning this. I think they're over investing resources. I think this bot tier one doesn't really matter. They should just not not give this top tier one. Because look at Jarvan's drop now. He's basing. He's too late to top. Ari realizes she's useless bot side, and now she's gonna run back to mid wave. Now they're already hitting this. I think they could have defended this while this guy's soloing Drake and Kalista's bot. They have so much vision. It's they're trading even on towers. It sucks too much. It's bad. The good news is they can just push out top now and get Herald. After Kalista gets midwave, it should be just be a free Herald. I think they could just start Herald. They need to be fast paced. This like Wukong needs to clear his bot camps quick. Kalista should just start it. They get this Herald quick and then just Herald mid. Like they need to be fast. They need to be need to be snappy. This needs to be quick. Now they're losing their bot tier one, right? So like T1's trading evenly against them when they're ahead with an early game comp. Just do it, just do it, just do it. Like Wukong is running bot now. Uh, dude, fucking A, some go catch midwave or something. Do something. And they're maybe gonna kill this GP, I guess. But they're gonna lose their mid tower for it. It's not worth it if they lose mid tower. Okay, nice. They cancel. Oh no, they got the Herald. Holy shit. Oh no, they lose the mid tower. Oh my god, it's so bad. It's so bad. They have to get out. Here, one run, 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 run. Yeah, it's actually good for T1. It's really good for T1. Look at the waves they're losing, man. And they got mid tier one. They're three towers to two, man. They're out macroing them. Well, it's one minute 40 till Seoul, but I know exactly what's going to happen here. T1 are just going to rush Nash when they when uh, KT goes towards Drake. So I think KT need to put Nar bot now, swap with Ari. And have Nar be a solo Drake bot. 
I think they're going to do it. It's actually really smart of K to do this. Arya can stay for one more wave. Nara can help a mid wave. Uh, and then Arya bases and goes top. Nara goes bot. Solo Shriek when they try to threaten Nash. Herald mid. Holy shit, Nara does a backflip when he casts the Herald. That G build is useless. Oh, unless... Oh, they got it. Holy fuck, it wasn't useless. That was monster good. Holy shit, Zeus. That was a turbo GP ult, actually. That was a turbo GP ult. Arya should go top now. Just get this wave. Please, 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 please. Oh my god, they're griefing. Nar should not be top. Nar, sh they, sh they should be swapped because he can solo Drake so much easier. Guma just based for rapid fire, but he's way too late. Why did Guma base for rapid fire and now they're all running to Drake? Is he gonna steal it? No. Huh? They had package. They had topside vision. They should have threatened Nash a bit at least. Well, they have soul. But the problem is this cloud soul is so useless, man. Imagine this was like any other soul. KT is so happy. But they got RNG. Yeah, Cloud Soul's good on Wukong for sure, but I mean, like, the actual soul itself, it doesn't matter what champs you have, right? It's just overall a bit shit. So, what is KT's plan here? Because KT's Baron is not that quick. Their secure is good, but their Baron is not quick. I actually think this is gonna be an Elder fight before a, a Baron fight. I think this is gonna be an Elder fight before a Baron fight. And T1's gonna ace one Elder and win the game. And that's basically what's gonna happen. What a straight 5v5 fight looks like yet, though. Mickey X wasn't a star on G2 2022. Guys, when I said that, I meant that he wasn't like the sh the, the talk of the town, you know. My intention was that when you think of G2 2019, Mickey is probably one of the last people you think of. Obviously, he was insane. Oh my god, these barrels. Oh my god, Zeus. Oh my god. Oh my god. And this is the thing when you're playing Corky Jinx. You just need one good fight, game's over. And they're playing Ari, Wukong, Kalista, Jarvan, good macro. Oh, you fucked up once, at game's over. Mickey X crying, dude. I can't explain myself. I'll just, okay, my bad, my bad. I can't, ex I can't get my point across. Um, I'm too toxic. Rascal can't TP in, this is really awkward. Yeah, I think he kind of has to start it and just put as many stacks in it as possible and then flip it. But Faker's going to flank. Oh my god, yeah, I can see it happening. Oh no, I can see it coming. Here it comes. Oh, maybe Arya can get Faker here. Oh no, they tried to chain CC kill. Oh, the stopwatch. Rascal needs to flash over. Just flash back over. He needs to get back over. Zeus is dead. Oh, nice EQ flash by owner. Holy shit, Jarvan mechanics. Oh, the flash by Rascal. Arya needs to run. Oh, Kuma. Oh my god, owner. Uh, it's crazy. Faker should have... I mean, if Faker died here, the game was over. Moves up again. He's, he's spotted. He knows that someone is they tried to chain CC here, uh, but, it is all the but they're all just so fucked here. The so I think that play screwed them because they lost Wukong ult. Watch owner here. Watch owner. He kills Jarvan, takes the soul, and watch this EQ flash. Boom. Holy. Thank you, life, as he's able to lock down aiming and without that Gumayushi being completely full health and getting his resets. Uh, Man, they stood on top of a GP ult and a Corky package, and they still almost won the fight, but now it's over. I like T1's thought process though, you know, game one of every series, just try something random. And then if you lose that game, then just play serious for two games, you'll re reverse it. Also gives you experience in best of fives when you're down 1-2. Telecom war. Oh, T1 on red side. Pepe love. Okay, T1, what do you ban? Don't ban Sejuani, right? Surely not. They're not gonna ban Sejuani, right? Go and ban, good. So, Wukong or Kalista? Wukong. Okay, now I bet you Gamayushi doesn't pick Kalista. I feel like he's not gonna pick it. He's a chad if he picks Kalista, but I feel like his, the Kalista just aimed it. They're just gonna want to like Viego Corky. I can feel it. I can feel it. Yeah, here it is. Oh my god. Fuck's sakes, man. Ezreal, Viego. It's good. Yeah, Corky Viego. What? 
Okay. Please pick Azir. Please pick Azir. Don't int. Don't int. Just pick Azir. Pick Azir. Pick Azir. Actually, no, don't pick Estriel. They're gonna pick Jinx on three or something. No, no, don't pick Ari. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Please, please don't pick Ari. Please, please. Hello, hello. It's so fucking cringe, isn't it? It's so fucking cringe. Why? Can't you just pick Azir? Okay, don't pick Kalista. Oh my god, Sejuani? Okay, fine. Fine. Sejuani's fine. Fine. It's still fucking int. I think Orin is a thousand times better. But sure. Kalista ban. So what ADs are going to be picked? Dude, you know what I think T1 should do, actually? I think they should honestly just pick Yumi on four. No joke. Oh no, it's 12-10, isn't it? It's not 12-11. Never mind. Don't pick Yumi on four. Uh, Estriel is open. Jinx. Aphelios is pretty shit, so I don't want to see that. Uh, Kate can work. Could give Estriel and pick Kai'Sa. Jin is fine with Corky, actually. But Jin into Sejuani sucks, so I don't think T1 should pick Jin. I think Jin for, the, for KT is not bad. I think Trundle support on 5 could be good here as well into uh, Wukong Sejuani and I'm expecting Nautilus here with the Tam Kenchman. I think they should just go Kai'Sa not. I think Kai'Sa not. If they pick Jin here, they're losing the game. They're losing the game if they pick Jin. It's super int. I think just go Zaya. Just go, yeah, just go Zaya. They go Brown or Trundle on five. Mm. Could go Caitlyn. I don't know how aiming Caitlyn is. Jin Yumi. I think Jin Yumi here would not be bad, actually. Hold up. Hold up. Kaisa not. Yeah. Just go Kaisa not. But this is it where you run into Braum Trundle. This is the safest thing, but you run into Braum Trundle. And you're against Sejuani Nautilus. Just go Braum. Okay. I mean, pretty standard shit on 4 5. Oh, we're in game! Nice! Oh, nice pig. This matchup is really in our favor, I think. It looked like it in game 1 at least. T1 massive gold lead already. Yeah, go full clear L9, top grab. Wukong is full clear L9 as well. Don't think Kuz can... Yeah, maybe Kuz can fight this. Top push versus mid push. Very awkward stare down now. I think Kuz should hit it to lifesteal a bit. Heal up a bit. Nice, you got it. Mid push is more broken, it looks like. Would be great here for Kuz. Take Crab, run to his Grump, Ward, and base, if he can do it. So, Kuz is uh, quite far ahead already. Not in XP, but in gold, of course. I mean, Zeus is going to stomp top. I mean, he always stomps top every game. This guy's so fucking good. I think T1 on the team who can go for Drake early, after owner clears his top side here. He might lose his red buff for Drake, but I think it's fine. I think stacking Drakes is always good early if you have a Corky comp. can stall the game out. Okay, owner on this base should go to Drake. Mid is in a good spot. He has bot push as well. Please just go to Drake owner. It's pinked as well. It's so fucking free. Nice. We're going to Drake. Good job. Good job, T1. RS and base. They have to give. Nice. Good job, T1. I think Kerry is making a bit of a mistake here. Either he runs from the lane straight to here now, or he bases and runs, but I think he's going to be too late. The thing is, if um, if Brown had base on the earlier wave, he'd be here right now, and they could actually contest this. But like, they should contest this. They have top push. They're giving Herald for free, and now Carry us too late. He fucking into it. Just because he wanted level six, he greeted. Every now and then, every couple of years, he get one of those games, and it has to happen to be then. Oh, they're so late to respond, but they're gonna win the fight anyway. It's so like. Yeah, Carrier could have been here way earlier. And they could have walked in earlier, and Zeus could have collapsed earlier. But this flash E from Carrier to block Arya's damage was really good. And then the um, inbound Nar, GG. No damage. Ari's damage was all blocked. Double. Oh my god, it's over. Zeus is just so consistent on everything and anything. There is no mana available for Rascal. Uh, he even tries to help out Cuz, and it's not going to be enough. Uh, also, every game I see Sejuani top, it's just useless as fuck. Right. 
And now, Carrier Anona looking for even more. Oh, that he tried to predict his flash. Ultimate placement as the ulti comes through from aiming. Got it Carrier anyway. Having to predict the killer Double TP. They have to force then. To come through from both Arya and Why does he charm There's before he dashes? Over the wall, Carrier shows them the door, and the ulti comes down. Cyclone's fantastic. Carrier buys some time. But he is going to still be That's taken fine. down. They got a kill. KT not really worth it though. This Nar is gonna milky, milky your top tower. Just give up carry out. Not the biggest of deals. I don't know about this one though. Yeah, Owner's dead. Charge comes on in. Charm will connect He's very griefing, comfortably. And they should have dropped this objective way earlier. Well, full tower for Zeus though. Five or six in a row. Yeah, really Cloud Soul, yeah. Bring back. Uh, it's always Cloud Soul. Could be worse. TBH. Could be exactly Chemtech Souls every game. Oh, we cancelled him. Anyone remember those? Smile. Why does Rascal do that movement? Can do it. Not exactly the most damage. Is now Zayus in trouble as well. Aiming. Does he have the last shot? Is the question. He doesn't need it. Rascal's movement was really the weird there. Kill over here. T1 will take down. Miss Piggy. It deals bonus like damage, yeah, but if you get the E auto wide. attack, it does also and a lot of damage, right? Very good at these hooks, aiming, uh, even with the nice pick here by KT. Mercs on Corky? Uh, I think it's fine. Obviously not optimal. Here, I think he needs to just play for his auto attack on E, right? It's really good. Auto, he should he should be autoing auto. He should E and auto, like it does more damage than the R range. Gets over. There's the depth charge. Oh, there's dead. the flash in. They do not. And it's even harder than it looks. And right now it looks difficult as Zayas fighting against Rascal here. Aiming's going to move on up. Ulti connected yeah, is now. Dead. Can aiming do it? Really yes. good. He really good picks on side here. Zeus is getting called out a bit too much. Drake's up in 20. But again, Cloud Soul is useless. They're going to do it for another pick really on Zeus. Really uh, easy for aiming to pick up kills as such as here they go again. Yeah, Carrier and Ona right in the area, but can Zayas can survive long him? enough is going to be the no. question as Arya Carrier's gonna die now as well because he flashed not, to try and save him. Carrier shows them the door and they gladly take it for the No way are they gonna get another pick. Okay. Is saying yes, as Faker if they got that pick they would get Nash the game's over. Another another pick over side, aiming is just sitting here. The hop comes through. Why didn't they commit? Owners behind, KT's that's why. Flash. KT are going to respect it. And will allow the Nah to escape for now. Not overextending, looking for any chases. T1 want to collect themselves. This nice, it's Ronnie Ult. Fens used. They should just back now. Connect onto Gumi Yushi. Cleanses it. And now Life Ooh. finds the back line yet Wait, again. Wait, did Gumi Yushi just... Wait, did Gumi Yushi just fail his flash? Holy fuck. Go, go, go. Chase, 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 chase. Oh my god, that's Nash. That's Nash. Is earning his spot here in game three. That's Nash. Well Wait, what is this TP? What the oh fuck no, is that TP? That is not the teleport you wanted. It's the flash over. Eh? And aiming will say thank you Holy very fuck. Much. Oh, no way, right? He actually use the boss bomb oh comes down. my Man, god. Actually close, One second there of like, huh? What happens to Guma Yushi's flash here? I think the play for T1 here is not the worst. When he uses cleanse, it's fine. Watch Guma Yushi. T1 oh my! He panicked. He panicked. He panicked. But with ah like fuck! Control, he panicked like too hard. This is extremely, extremely he gale forced, panicked, flash ulted. You know he 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 was really scared there for a second. Wow! You know it's not like Gumu should do things like that. I can only yeah, KT scaling yep. is not this that is bad this time sort of around because they actually have a lot of things that work together pretty well. Like Kaisa North Sejuani is really strong picks. Yeah. So if anyone goes side, they're dead. Just play up rolls around like it's an easy choice. Yeah, but still for Ooh, nice play here. This is looking like an easy choice. Nice play. They just get one and get out. Nice top watch. He might die though. Nice flash. flash okay. Mm, too much used maybe for a support. They don't get anything for it. They do defend there in a turret though, and it's not really uh, not, a, not, not a lot of use actually. They only used Ari Nautilus ults and a flash, and they got a flash back and an exhaust, so it's probably fine. Now moving back down towards Not the end of the world, though. Side. Faker a little bit further away. What the fuck? Aiming, looks for the killer. Holy. The door is such high value as Ona slinking around the side. Carrier is going to have to go back. Doesn't have unsealed spellbook, so can't teleport back in here. So they will be They're going to play to finish? Yeah, these rockets are very scary. Carrier even coming on in as Arya finds oh, Arya. the angle. Looks for the from the glacial prisons in as well. As T1. They oh, my down. God. Oh, does it again. He suffers his life, but... 
Oh He's my able to god. Deny the now Faker might hit mm. another item spikes. Carry mm. out. What? Mm. Yeah, it's seven he's months just of diving on forward. Cuz does have the cyclone. His decoy does a fair bit of work, but life is just dead. The cyclone, the next the activation fuck? was fantastic. The rest of the fights are really important. They have really good position. They have package midwaves in. Ends up happening. They have stopwatch on Diego. The only problem is they don't have flash there. on top jungle. Zayus needs to be very, very mindful. Is Cuz close to level 16? Yeah, he is. Boom, leveled up from the wave. Really like it. All picked up for Faker. This is it. This is where the series is decided. Faker's trying to poke. Oh, nice ult. Where is he going? Oh, they got the soul as well. They got the Drake as well to stop the soul. Faker's out. Aiming's gonna die. It's all on Arya. Arya needs to live. But he's dashing forwards. Oh, Kuma's E was a bit early. It's two members alive for KT. They should be able to base. No, he's dead. Wait. Oh my god, close. Be very careful how they navigate Zeus. Yeah, depth charge comes on. They can't chase. And he is going to move Unless. Away, but aiming has found him. He thinks this yes, is flash. his opportunity. As Zeus flashes to get over the wall, ah. the Void Seeker is going to miss him. The flash oh! Here, the kill will land. Have to fight, 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 fight. That is so much space built fight. for KT. They should just chase them. Because for able to do that Baker won't have package. Slower to better as the. Final elemental drain. Rascal ult will mean so much here. Yeah, They're just rushing it. We'll they saw Owner on midwave. They get it. They get it. They get it. Owner was on midwave. Sloppy play there. Oh, is he a package faker? Oh my god, faker. You're fucking crazy. Double GA. Aiming's dead. Absolutely massive. Holy Faker. Faker! Is he alive? No. It's over though, I think KT win. Uh, so T1 win, damage. sorry. Aria, yeah, T1 win. T1 win. I don't know. Can they end? Alive. A little bit by this oh, he's gonna get the wave. They can't end. They can't end. They can't end. He's gonna for the side as it is. Owner that is gonna find him here. Rascal just, just flip it. Body in the front line is that's a great orb of deception across the Everfrost from Aria. On just flip the side. it. He's doing a great job getting them out of here. KT still on this Baron though. Owner over the wall. We've seen this movie so so many times. He dives into the pit. Can he secure it? No, it's Cuz that locks down the Baron. But can they? But can they fight? Oh, Aria positioning is really good. Oh, aiming. Oh, I mean, 1v2! He did so much work, though! That's over. The GAs are too broken. Holy fuck. Nice try. Really nice try. I will admit, T1 don't look great. I'll say it. These games are way too shaky. For this KT team, Aria is...